welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a massive Sephora haul, bigger than I've ever done before. I'm looking at this makeup right now and I'm just kind of like freaking out a little bit because it is so much makeup and this video is probably going to be really long. So in about two or three weeks, I will be uploading another video, which is going to be an update of this whole Sephora haul after I've tried everything out and I'm going to tell you guys how everything worked for me. So I'm going to do reviews on every single thing that I showed you guys. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you guys so much because we just hit 100,000 subscribers today and I couldn't be happier. I literally laid in bed for like an hour and just stared at it because I just had no words. I was so happy. So I just wanted to give you guys a huge thanks from the bottom of my heart for all of you that have hit that subscribe button and supported my channel. And as I said before, I do have a huge giveaway ready for hitting this milestone. I'm probably going to wait like a week or maybe two weeks to start that giveaway only because I literally just started my last giveaway like two days ago. So that one is still going on. It is a back to school giveaway. I'll link that that giveaway down below in the description box. So yeah, I think that's all I had to say. So I'm just gonna get right into this huge Sephora haul. So if you wanna know everything that I got today, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I grouped everything together in their own little categories. So I have all the skincare products together, the lip products, foundations, and then I'm also gonna list everything down below in the description box. So if you don't care about one section, you can just fast forward until the next one. So I'm gonna start off with skincare first. So the first thing that I picked up is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face toner. So this is what it looks like. If you can see all these little rose petals that are in here, I think it's so cool and I've never seen a toner like this. So I'm super excited to use this. I've heard really good things about it, so I cannot wait to see what it does for me. Then I got this Bosha Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. So I actually already opened this because I just couldn't contain myself. I haven't used it yet, but I did open it. So it's like an actual ball. You literally just get your face wet and then take this ball and rub it on your face and it acts as a cleanser. And it's black charcoal so it is supposed to deep clean your pores which I need that. <laughs> then I got this milk makeup hydrating oil stick. It's in the same exact packaging as the milk blur stick if you guys have heard of that. Weird. I got this because I like putting oil on my face especially in the winter when I get really dry just to get that extra moisture into my skin and this just looked really interesting. This actually feels really lightweight and more slippery than thick and greasy if that makes sense. Then I got this Urban Decay Rehab makeup prep. This is a pore refining peel and this says it's a peel off mask, which I love peel off masks. I think they're the best kind of mask and it's supposed to clear out your pores, draw out impurities and leave your pores visibly cleaner and refined. Then I got the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. So this is also another peel off mask and this one is more to just remove any like dirt from your pores and shrink your pore size. Then I got the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I got this because I used the Drunk Elephant I believe it's called the Glycolic Night Serum. And I was looking online on Sephora and it said that it's paired really good with this oil. So I'm really excited to try this one out just because I've never been disappointed from Drunk Elephant. Even though it is really expensive, they do have really amazing skincare products. Then I got the Tarte Drink of H2O Gel Moisturizer. This is my third one of these, I believe. I love that gel and my boyfriend does too. He literally steals it from me every single morning and uses it. Then from Bosha again, I got the Charcoal Deep Pore Cleansing Stick Treatment. So this is like a facial cleanser in the form of a stick, which I thought was pretty cool. And I'm assuming you're just supposed to rub it on your face and it kind of does the same thing as that squishy ball. Anything that is going to have activated charcoal in it is going to be really good for clearing out your pores and like a deep like detoxifier for your face. So I like a lot of things that have charcoal in them. That's why I love Bosha so much. Then from Fresh, I got the Black Tea Age Light Instant Infusion. This is a treatment toner. So this toner is supposed to protect and moisturize your skin and it's supposed to be anti-aging. I love Fresh. Fresh has really good skincare products as well. And I've also been really getting into toners lately because I feel like they make such a huge difference in my skin. Then I got all these sheet masks. I believe these are all from the brand Sephora, except this one. This is egg cream mask. My favorite ones to use are these Sephora Ultra Moisturizing and Brightening Masks. So far, I like these ones the most. I feel like they put a lot of moisture in your skin. I haven't used this one yet. So I just picked up a bunch of these because I love using sheet masks. I try and do them at least like three times a week and they definitely help a ton with any texture that you have in your face, I've noticed. So yes, love sheet masks. 
Okay, so I only have three more things left for skincare. So this is the Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. So when I saw that they came out with one that was a gel, because I like to use a lot of gels on my face. I don't necessarily like creams because they do clog my pores. And I have oily skin, so gels usually work a lot better on me. When you put it on the back of your hand, it feels so soft. Like it literally feels so silky smooth. So I cannot wait to try this on my face because, oh, it just makes your hand feel so soft. Then we have the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I've heard a ton of good things about this. So what I like using these for is just putting it on my face when I feel extra dry. Or I can mix like one drop into my lotions and make it a little bit more hydrating. So that's why I love using oils. Okay, now moving on to makeup, I'm gonna go to highlighters. The first one I got is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. I don't know if this was supposed to be that interesting. Okay, I'm gonna read the box because I'm kind of confused what this is for. Oh, it's Radiance Oil. Okay, I was about to say, it looks just like straight oil on my hand. I was really confused. Okay, so it's totally not even what I expected it was. I thought it was gonna be like the cover of X drops. I'm assuming you just put this on your face before you do your makeup. It makes you look very glowy, like a natural glow while giving you some moisture. So if you look at my hand, you can see like on my knuckles how it has a very nice subtle glow. So this would be really pretty on your body too. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's totally different than what I expected. Okay, then I got the NARS, the multiple it's called. It is in the shade Copacabana. <laughs> That's the word, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. This is beautiful, it's like a matte black with very bright font and it says NARS. NARS always has the best packaging. So that's what the shade looks like. It has a really pretty undertone to it and it looks a lot like the one that I'm wearing but more like icy and it feels very soft and silky too. Then I got the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick and I'm so excited to try this. I see so many people using this and raving about it and it just looks so cute. It's like a little deodorant stick it looks like, but so it's basically the same thing as the NARS one. I love this, this is beautiful. It has such a pretty like icy golden undertone. I love this, I cannot wait to wear this and that went on super easily too. The next thing in here is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. I love Smash. Box. I use their Studio Skin foundation every single day. It's what I'm wearing right now, but I have not had the best luck with their primers. I've tried the original one, the pore minimizing one, and then the green one that's supposed to color correct, and there was just something about them that never worked with my skin, which really sucks. So I was kind of hesitant to purchase this one, but I figured I would give it a try because it looked really pretty. It's going to make your skin look very dewy and fresh and glowy underneath your foundation. I hope this one works better for me than the past Smash box primers that I've tried. Then when we're on primers, I only have one and this is the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. I just got this because it said it was mattifying and I love any kind of mattifying primer. It says it's supposed to mattify your skin so I will definitely be the judge of that because I'm very very picky about my mattifying primers. It feels very smooth and silky too. It definitely doesn't feel like mattifying. Usually a mattifying primer will get very like tacky almost but this feels very smooth and it made my hand look super soft too i know you guys can't tell on camera but it definitely made that section of my hand look really soft then i got a bunch of setting powders and this is the urban decay velvetizer this is a translucent powder that you can mix in with your foundations or you can set your face with it so basically this is just a powder that you mix in with your foundation and it's supposed to make them matte so that intrigued me a lot because I have so many foundations that I have a dewy finish that I'm not really able to wear that much just because when I do get oily, the dewiness just looks like oil. So this is what the container looks like and this whole bottle is a velvet. It's a purple velvet and it's so cool. So I'm super excited to play with this and mix this in with my foundations and see what it does. Then I got more of the CoverFX Perfect Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Light. I love this stuff. I use it every single day. It's perfect for if you have dry under eyes, which I do have very dry under so it works very very good for me and then I also got the cover effects matte setting powder since I loved the perfect setting powder so much I decided to get the mattifying one too so it has the same container as the perfect setting powder with this flip up lid which I really like because I feel like I don't waste a lot of product with that and yeah I have very high hopes for this one and then I also got the brand new Too Faced Born This Way setting powder the only thing is that the Too Faced Born This Way foundation didn't really work out on my skin I was just too oily for it but I've heard amazing things about 
with that foundation. So that's the only thing that was kind of holding me back from this, but when I saw all the amazing reviews on it, I figured I would give it a try. And this packaging is beautiful, by the way. It's very like sturdy, it has a very thick container. So it feels like really expensive. And then it also has a flip top lid like the Cover FX one does. And this is supposed to just be like a regular setting powder like the Laura Mercier powder. Then I got two setting sprays. I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. It's really, really good to keep your makeup on for a long time. And then I also picked up the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. And like I said before, since I have oily skin, I like to try everything that says it's matte. Let's see how it sprays. Ooh, it has a nice spray on it too. Mmm, it smells good too. Yeah, so it just says that it's supposed to control your oil and remove surface shine. Then I got four pairs of eyelashes. This is from the brand Tarte. These are the Tartist Pro cruelty free eyelashes. And I got three girl bosses and center of attention. This one is center of attention. They look a lot thicker thinner on camera, but they're actually very thick and fluffy. And then this one is Girl Boss, which is my favorite. And they're very, very comfortable to wear too and super easy to apply because they have a thick black lash band. Then I got three mascaras. I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, my all-time favorite mascara. I wear it every single day. And then I also got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. The thing that I thought was really cool is the tube of this actually has like little water droplets on it. And then I also got the mascara Melt Off. So I've never tried this before either, but I thought it was interesting because it's kind of just like oil in this tube. So you're supposed to just like brush it on your waterproof mascara and then it takes it right off because we all know how hard waterproof mascara is to get off. So then I'm going to move on to some palettes. These are mainly like highlighting and contour palettes. First one I got is the Urban Decay After Glow Highlighting Palette. Let's swatch them and see. Ooh, those are pretty. Okay, so I just swatched Bliss and Side Piece. This one's really bright. I really like this one. This one is a little bit more dull, but bottom one is super pretty. Then I got the Becca and Chrissy Teigen face palette. This one looks stunning. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. This one has more of like a pink undertone. This one has more of a peachy rose gold undertone and they're completely stunning. And that blush and bronzer looks really pretty too. So I'm super excited about this palette. Then I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. This is a contour, color correct, and highlight palette. One side of it, this one right here, is all of your powders. So watch this one for you guys. And then when you switch this over, which I think is super cool, awesome packaging, this is gonna be all of your cream shades. So I think it's really cool how they have that like all in one. I love this little divider here. I just think it's awesome packaging. Urban Decay definitely did a very good job on this one. So cannot wait to try this one. Then I got the Sephora Collection Contour Blush Palette. I thought the blushes looked really pretty in here and some of them are matte and some have a little bit of a shimmer to them. I think that I'm really gonna like this shade right here because it's very peachy and it has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. And then also from the Sephora Collection, I got the Illuminate Highlighter Palette. This one looks like it's gonna be super shiny. Pretty pigmented. It got a little bit powdery towards the end there, but there we go. And then this is gonna be the lightest white shade. Oh my gosh, that is so pigmented. This is the middle golden shade here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now I have heard that these highlighters enhance texture on your face. I'm still gonna try it out and see how it works on my skin because these are very, very pretty. Then I got this Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick Trio. Oh my gosh, these are really, really buttery and creamy. That's what they look like. I can already tell I'm gonna love these because these shades look perfect, especially for my skin tone. I love how the sticks are very slim. Then I can do my nose and get really like precise in my cheekbones. Okay, so I was gonna start on the lip products, but then I counted how many I have because there's a lot. I think I'm going to say that for the end of the video. So if you want to skip ahead to all the lip products, I have 47 lipsticks, but for now, I'm just going to finish up for the rest of the stuff. I don't have too much stuff left. So the next thing I got is the Becca Summit bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's super pretty. And then this is what the bronzer looks like. It has like little waves in it, which I think are super cute. And it also has a little bit of a sheen in it. So it's not gonna be a completely matte bronzer, which I actually like. Then I have two more blushes from Becca and this is in the shade Songbird and Warm Honey. Okay, never mind. This is actually a, it says like multi-purposing powder. So I think this is supposed to be like a contour shade, which it looks a little bit too warm for me, but I'll make it work because I could just use it as like a bronzer or something. And then this 
this is what Songbird looks like, which is so beautiful. This is like the perfect color blush for me. Then I have two more blushes from NARS, and this one is in the shade Bumpy Ride. So this is what the shade looks like. It's just your regular pink blush. And then this one is in the shade Hot Sand. So this one said it's a highlighting blush. So I don't know if it's a highlighter or a blush or what, but it kind of does actually look like a highlighter, which I didn't even know what NARS had. But let's swatch this and see. Oh yeah, that's definitely a highlighter. That is really pretty, actually. Then I got the NARS Ida Kabuki brush. I've always wanted this brush for a, just a super long time, but I just never bought it because it's so expensive. This is a brush used to contour, and I love the packaging. It's so different than any other like brush that I've used. Then I have a few liquid eyeliners here. This is from Urban Decay, and these are in the shades Kush, Cuff, and Fireball. So this is what those eyeliners look like. The bottom one is Cuff, then Kush is the green one, and then the top one is Fireball. Then I got this. Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. This is in the shade M30. Ooh, that's really pigmented. Teal turquoise color. These colors are really pretty on the waterline. Then I got this Tarte Tardis Pro Custom Magnetic Palette. So this is just kind of like a Z palette. I thought it was really cute because it's textured and it has like that leopard print on it, which I think is super pretty. And it's also very big. And for this size, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than Z palettes. So I just thought it was super cute. Cute, and I love it leopard print. I love the texture on it. Then I got the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 5 I think that's the shade of this or palette 10. I just thought these colors were really pretty and especially this gold is Gorgeous. Oh, these shadows are really really Pigmented so you have to be careful with them. That's what that gold shade looks like. It is just stunning then I got two single eyeshadows This one is the Tarte Tardis metallic shadow in the shade poker face so that's what this one looks like. It's a very pretty like beige color and it kind of looks a little bit purple too. And then the other one I got from Urban Decay and this is in the shade Solstice. It's a duochrome shadow. Let's watch it right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm obsessed with that. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I'm gonna put a little bit, ooh, that was a lot. That was way more than I needed. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I see everybody talking about these and they actually smell like coconut. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm definitely gonna be mixing this in with some of my foundations. Then the last thing I have before all the lipsticks are foundations and I have a few of these. So I just picked up another one of my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This is in the shade 3.0. This is the darkest shade I use when I'm at my very, very darkest when I'm self-tanned. And then I got the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I love stick foundations. I feel like they're very easy to use. That's it right there. So yeah, it might be a little bit too dark, but it still went on very creamy. Then I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've wanted this foundation for it forever because everybody raves about this. So I got the shade 5.25. Okay, now finally on to all the lip products. I have a ton of matte liquid lipsticks and I have a ton of regular lipsticks and I just have a bunch of everything from like every brand. So I'm gonna go by brand. So the first things I'm gonna start off with are the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So the shades that I got these in are Ludwig and Ophelia, just two nude shades. So this one, is Ophelia and then this one is Ludwig. Then I got three lip liners by Kat Von D. These are brand new and I got the shades Lolita, Bow and Arrow, and D Minor. Here is Bow and Arrow. Ooh, these swatch really creamy by the way. This one is D Minor and then this last one is Lolita. Lolita is super pretty. Then I have the brand new Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These just came out and I got five shades. We have Slay, Cult, Juju, Hemp. Oh shoot, I got two hemps. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to return one of these. So I'll swatch these four for you. Okay, so this one is Hemp. This one is the shade Slay. Ooh, that's really pretty. This one is Cult. That one kind of looks like a concealer. And then this one is Juju. Mostly nude shades. It's usually what I like to stick with. Then I got seven of the Tarte Tardis lip paints. These are all the matte liquid lipsticks. Okay, this first one is Obsessed. That's a really pretty like deep plum color. And this one is called Fry Yay. This one is called Fly. Rosé, Festival, ooh, that one's really pretty too. I really like that one. Exposed, and then OG. 
So that is what all those matte ones look like swatched. And don't mind my tattoo, it looks off right now because I'm in the process of getting it laser removed. So it looks terrible right now. It'll be gone soon, don't worry. Then I got four of the brand new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. And this packaging is gorgeous too, by the way. I love the blue. That one is five o'clock. This one is Salt Life. This one is Colada. Okay, now this last one I want to tell you guys about. So this is the shade Set Sail. So I've had these lipsticks for a while now because I was waiting for almost four haul with them. So I never really like opened anything up and was able to use anything. So when I went to open this up today, this is all that's in there. So somebody that was in Sephora must have taken the actual lipstick tube out of the box and then put the cap back in it so it sounded like... There was an actual lipstick in here and it had a little bit of weight to it too. I just wanted to warn you guys because this is the first time this has ever happened to me and I'm actually really pissed off about it because I'm not going to be able to go and say, oh, I got home and this only had a cap in it because then anybody could say that. It just really, really makes me mad. So I just wanted to warn you guys because I didn't even know that people were that shallow to do that so just make sure you're checking everything before you buy it because clearly even the Sephora people that checked me out didn't notice that it was empty so then I got this Bite Beauty cream lipstick or lip gloss this is in the shade Oyster Pearl so this is what it looks like it is stunning it's a duochrome lip gloss and it has glitter in it and it's just really really pretty so I had to get this let's watch it right there that's what that one looks like. So pretty. I've never seen a lip gloss like this. Then I got six of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. These are just the regular lipsticks, not the liquid lipsticks. And I got the shades Naked, Rush, Stark Naked, Back Talk, Liar, and Violate. Okay, so right here we have Stark Naked. Right next to it is Naked. Then we have the shade Rush. This one is Liar. I like that one a lot. And then this one right here is Back Talk. That one's really pretty. That reminds me a lot of what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And then this one is called Violate. Like, look at all these swatches, how many nudes I have. These Tarte ones are not budging either at all. I literally just had to go in with coconut oil to try and take these off. Like, I literally just took a scoop of this coconut oil and it's still not off. I'm just gonna leave that there for now because my arm is starting to hurt from scrubbing. So moving on. I also have three eyeliner pencils and I thought these were lip pencils so I didn't swatch them before but I'm just gonna swatch them quick. These are in the shades Chaos, Electric, and Scorch. So I'll just swatch these quick for you guys. There's Chaos. Next that is Scorch. It's like a pretty bronzy golden shade. And then this one is called Electric. Ooh, that's super pretty. I love that one. Then I have four liquid lipsticks from Stila. We have Bachi, Dolce, Como, and... Oh, this is Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. And then Bachi. So I already have this. I literally wear this like every single day. It's my all-time favorite liquid lipstick. Best formula of liquid lipsticks I've ever used is Stila by far. I love their liquid lipstick formula. They're so soft and creamy on the lips. And then we have Dolce. And then this last one is Como. That is so pretty. That's like a super bright electric purple. Then I got this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Venus. So this one is the shade Venus. I basically just got a bunch of nudes because that's literally all I wear is nude lipsticks. So that's why I got so many nudes. Then I got the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Matte Lipsticks in the shade M100 and M101. I have a few of these already and I love them. So this one is M101, and this one is M100. Then I have another Makeup Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade 203. That's what that looks like. And then two liquid pigments from Smashbox. We have the shades Petal, Metal, and Bad B. So these are liquid pigments, so they don't dry down to a matte finish. They're just like legit pigments. So that one is Bad B, Petal, Metal. Ooh, look at that. That is super shiny too. Then I got another lip gloss from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Moon Glow. I love Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I think they're so pretty. It's just a very light baby pink shade and these lip glosses are phenomenal. Sugar Sugar is my favorite one. Pretty sure that's everybody's favorite one from Marc Jacobs. Then we have the Smashbox Always On Lipstick. This is in the shade Baja Bound. 
super bright coral pink. Okay, we only have four more things. So I have three lip liners from Urban Decay. This one is Insanity. Then we have Naked 2. It's a little bit darker than that first one. And then this one is Uptight. So it's a little bit more darker and kind of has a little bit more of a pink undertone. And then the last thing is a Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner. This is in the shade Nude Medium. Just another nude liner. What's new? <laughs> and then that is what it looks like. So basically just like all the other eyeliners that I get. All right, guys. So that's finally it for this video. That took forever to film. It's been like three hours. So hopefully I can cut that down to like a 30-minute video. But that was a lot of stuff. So, oh, I don't know. That was a lot. And if you guys are still here, props to you because that was probably really hard to sit and watch this that whole time but if you did you are amazing and thank you so much for watching this whole video that's crazy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys